Okay, this is the physical setup or build up of today's circuits. Um, so as you see here, I have installed a lot of things on my motherboard now. So, but like they are pretty much just several kind of modules. So first I have my uh, power supply. I will install it here when it is finished. So in this way I have my uh, positive and negative power power, li power lines and uh, I have my three chips which is used uh, this week and uh, NOR gate uh, the two JK flip flop yeah and they are all grounded and uh, powered by the 3.3 power supply um, what the arrows so here I have so this for is my uh, clock signal which is connect to the hand tag uh, when it starts the hand tag will generate a square wave to as a clock for the system and uh, i have my um this is yeah preset and the reset signal so as you can see they are all connected to the power supply which is inherent by this kind of wire here <coughs> so like so every time I will just use use this to plug on and off to like set the initial state of my uh, circuit, and then eventually I have my indicate indicator which is for LED. So they are pretty much recording uh, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4 signal here with a uh, hundred ohms of resistor as protection, and also by the way here is another resistor which is used used to, to um, uh, protect the clock signal so this is basically the press it up and uh, I have my main body here which is connected in this way so the squirrel, squirrel most of the squirrel is just uh, represent and represent the set and preset signal input which is represented by squirrel and uh, I have my clock signal here which is not labeled but it, basically I just plug it in all the time yeah so I will just connect uh, this circuit in this in these kind of ways in the next video Okay, so let's validate these circuits. So I have my clock signal here. I have offset of 1.5 and uh, amplitude of one volt. So in this way, I can shift all the square wave to the like above above zero, and uh, 0 0.5 is not enough to activate the signal. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is my clock. This is my clock signal input, and it's grounded. And I ha now I have the initial. Say of one 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 one. Let's see what happened. 
to the first day go zero 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 and uh, eight number seconds. Hmm. Yeah, looks good. Okay, now I change this initial state to one zero 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 one zero 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 one, and with the clock off. So let's see what happens with the clock on. So it should technically go first one one zero zero. Okay, looks good. Okay, here we come again. Mm, okay, so now I have my uh, initial state of 1101 and the uh, clock off while it's on. Okay, yeah, looks good. Still the same, eight loops. Okay, now let's test the small loop, 0011 and the 0010. So it's basically just uh, the last number is flashing, which is correct. Okay, this is the last trial. I have initial state of 1011. Let's see what happened. Okay, looks good. Now it cycles through uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 0, 1, which is what it's supposed to do.